So there has been some discussion about whether or not we need the big elaborate setup that we've been doing for EQ mode. And so today I'm going to see if what, I, what I've done is overkill. And I suspect maybe it is. And so how I, I set up the EQ mode is, um, can you see it? Uh, let's see if I can move that so you can see it a little better. So what I have here is I have the Skywatcher wedge on top of a, a tripod. This is not the Sea Star tripod. It's a separate camera tripod that I had. Um, and then there's this dovetail thing that came with the Skywatcher. And then I just slide the little dovetail thing into this when I put it on the Sea Star. I put the leveler on here. The leveler is not for leveling. It's just to raise the Sea Star up so it doesn't hit this knob on the Skywatcher wedge. And so I put it in here. The Sea Star's on here and it's tilted to whatever angle I need it to be tilted to with the Skywatcher wedge. So what I want to try today is get rid of all of this. And so I'm going to take all this off if I can get it off in an easy method. On my tripod, the bolt here was smaller than the Sea Star. So I did have to buy this bolt so that I could attach the Sea Star to it. I just got that on Amazon. It was about $6. It came with two, they're different, different sizes. One's a male to female and one's a female to male. But, um, it converts that small bolt that's on my camera tripod to the size I need for the C star. And so I will need that regardless of what I do. But this tripod does have the handles. Let me tip you down a little bit. It does have the handles that you untighten and then you can move this back and forth. You can unscrew this and it turns. And then you can unscrew this one and it will tilt the, the base thing here too. So this is what I want to try out with, see if we can get this for equatorial mode. I know we won't be able to get all the way through it because it won't be able to do the polar aligned deviation because it's daytime and I'm in my house. And so what I'm going to do is I want to stick my C star on here and screw it onto the tripod. And while I'm doing that, maybe I'll turn it on because it does take a, a hot minute for it to, to turn on. And then um, I need to get a different device to operate it. Hold on just a minute. All right, so I've, I've got a device um, I use an iPhone, but I, I use that also to record these videos. And so I did invest in a tablet and I really didn't do it for the videos or anything. I did it because the screen is bigger so I can see it. My eyes just don't love the iPhone screen to read all the small text and stuff. So I've connected to the C-Star here and then I'm going to go into click on the C star and go into the advanced features at the bottom and then I want to change it to the mount mode I've already got it in EQ mode if I didn't I would click the switch button up here in the top right but it's already in EQ mode and you see that I've got 84 percent and I need it at, at 41 and that let me see if I can hold that so when I'm inside the app in the Sea Star, it's telling me the tilt is off. And so I'm just gonna loosen this, this handle here, and then I'm going to move it. And you can see that the number is changing. As long as I can get it down to that 41% and the power button is facing up to the sky, this should work. All right, so we're at it's bouncing around. There we are at 41 degrees. And if you see that the power button is up towards the sky, and now all I have to do is that get polar align. 
and it's going to go through the process here. You see it's rotating, but it really isn't going to work because we're not outside and it's not dark, so it can't find any stars to identify. But this is exactly how it works when it's on the Skywatcher wedge as well. You do want to make sure that the tripod is one that is sturdy enough so when it's at this angle, it's not going to be top heavy and tip over, but it should work just as good. So maybe I did not need to invest in Skywatcher wedge. As long as I have a tripod with the tilting head that's up here and able to control that angle, um, I could also rotate it here. If I undo this one, I can rotate it to the north or to the west or, you know, whatever direction you need to point it to. I currently am pointed at north, so that is helpful. And so it's, it's trying to do that polar aligned deviation. And that's really all it has to do on the Skywatcher wedge too. It's just that that wedge created this angle but this tripod does the exact same thing. So I inherited this tripod from my dad who passed a few years ago. He was big into photography and had closets full of tripods. And so I took one of them home and it was, I thought it wasn't gonna work because of the screw here, but then I was easily found an adapter that would convert that screw that's right in here to the size for the C-Star. And so this tripod would have been a free thing for me. Instead, I invested in the Skywatcher wedge. And because of the Skywatcher wedge and this knob, I either had to get an elongated screw here, but I solved it with just putting the, the little leveler that I already had purchased. I don't know if I would buy one of these levelers again. I see people using them all the time or talking about them. But I really have not used it other than now I'm using it just for the the purpose of raising the sea star so that it doesn't hit this knob right here. So I don't know I, if I needed to invest in that or not. I haven't really had a need to do that. So I don't know if that's just me not being adventurous enough. You know, the Skywatcher wedge works perfectly well for the EQ mode, but... It looks like my tripod would have done the exact same thing. So do I need a wedge and all of that extra stuff? No. The tripod, if you have one with a tilting head that can create that angle, the tripod would work just fine. And so it's a little less gear to lug around, a little less stuff to get lost or to have something to carry it all in. So if you have a tripod that does this kind of a situation and can tilt the head, use that. And that works perfectly well. So that's my summary of the tripod situation. And uh, tell me your experiences, what you think, have you, I know there've been a whole bunch of creative things people have done. And I wanna know what's been working for you guys. And you know, we didn't really need to invest in anything. I, I got this tripod for free. Of course, not everybody is going to get one for free, but you might also have one lying around from your old telescopes from decades ago that you no longer use that may work. So that's my summary for today. Uh, we'll give it a go. We're, we're expected to have rain and clouds for the next week at least, so it's not going to be feasible for me to try it in the near future, but that's the summary for today. Thanks for watching. Clear skies, everybody.